Let's start with uh, United versus Arsenal. Uh, Nimli, I'll come to you on the United perspective. And uh, you had major issues about the officiating in that game as well. Daniel, I want to uh, give you this. Arsenal have now made it two wins in a row after losing their previous three in games they were expected to win. Mm -hmm. In the two games they were expected to get beaten against Chelsea, against United, they got three points and scored seven goals. Mikel Arteta he suddenly turned things around when nobody gave him credit. I, I don't think Arsenal were expect, um, my United were expected to beat Arsenal. Um, At least yeah. it, it was supposed to be yeah. difficult for Arsenal. It was Arsenal. supposed to be difficult. It wasn't. But, but after what happened um, during the week with uh, Arsenal beating Chelsea 4-2, my United losing 4-0 at Liverpool, I think Arsenal pretty much walked into Saturday's game as favourites against Man United. And um, it's... It, it, you have to give credit to them because, yes, it's one thing walking into a game as favourites. You also have to let it count. You don't want to give your opposition uh, a chance to have a feel in the game. And, and they got that early goal. That early goal was very important for them. It got the fans behind them. It got the tempo going. And from there, they, they dictated a large embers of the, of the first half. You have to give them credit for that. Um, after the second goal, they took their foot off the pedal a bit. A Man United got back into it. And I feel... From Cristiano Ronaldo's goal until Xhaka's goal, Arsenal, I, 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 feel, I feel they were very lucky. It was one of those games where... Arsenal were lucky to win 3-1. I'm saying before, after Ronaldo's goal okay. until Xhaka's goal, Arsenal were very lucky in the game. Mm. They took their foot off the pedal. My United became very comfortable, especially the tail end of the first half into the second half. Very comfortable. Dalo hit the bar twice. Cristiano Ronaldo scored a goal that... Um, look like um, some people say it's offside, some people say it's not offside. One of those lines that they draw in VAR. Um, you had a penalty miss for Man United. Several opportunities where United mm. should have and could have gotten back um, um, at 2 2. But they didn't take their opportunities. And that is what happens at this level. If you don't take your opportunities, um, you will by all means be punished. And then the Jaka goal went in. And in another game, the Jaka goal would have been ruled out for offside. So I feel it was, it was one, of, one, of those, one of those days for, for Man United. But you see, for us now, it's very important. I always say it, at this point in the season, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter how you win at all. It doesn't matter if you get a, 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 a very um, dicey a VR decision going in yeah. your favor. It doesn't matter. Just get three points. Just get the three points. And, and that is what it is. And you see, it made it extra sweeter at the end of the day when Tottenham went to Bre uh, Brentford and failed to win that became very essential because now Arsenal are in the top four and um, it is theirs to lose. It's back to where we were um, about a month ago. Yeah. And funny enough, it has erased whatever happened in the, in the last of couple of weeks with the, uh, four, uh, three defeats in, the, in, in, in four games. So that's, that's the thing about football. It can switch at any time. But when you watch your form at this point, you, you can still see some aspects of their game that if they don't take care, could be the main reason why they'll go down. Okay. And... I feel it was the reason why they lost at Crystal Palace. It was the reason why they lost at Southampton. They, Arsenal have this, this thing about it. It's not just Arsenal. It's the teams battling around the top four. So Arsenal, United, Arsenal, United, United, Arsenal United, space. United space. They have that thing where concentration dips. And when it dips, it really dips. And in those moments, opposition teams can easily take advantage of it. If they have quality, they will punish you. And that's what I'm saying. Arsenal were lucky because... It just turns out that man, you are just a worse team than them. But I don't think assistance, especially with the absence of party, it's still going to be a very difficult task for them to finish in the top four because they need a certain level of consistency. And I feel it's going to be like what happened during Lampard's first season, this top four race, where the team that finishes in top four is not necessarily top four material. It's... it's it's going to be down to the inconsistency of the teams around them. So you look at Tottenham Hotspur. Two weeks ago, it looked like they were going to wrap up top four. Then they go to uh, Brighton. Then they lose at home to Brighton. And then they go to Brentford, cannot win. Um, it looked like it was a, a, a glorious opportunity for Man United to take advantage of it. They go to Liverpool, lose 4-0. Go to Arsenal, lose 3-1. Arsenal looked like they were out of it with three defeats from four. All of a sudden, they've got two... Uh, two wins they on beat the bounce. Chelsea. So it's 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 very dicey, but I'm 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 still not really convinced. Although I feel that as a stance, look, I think it will go down to that North London derby. Whoever gets in, I don't think that game will end in a draw. Whoever wins that game will probably seal the top four, either Arsenal or Tottenham Hotspur. But for now, with Arsenal in fourth place and with two games 
or two points ahead of Tottenham Hotspur, it is really theirs to lose. You, 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 it will be very difficult to, to bet against them as it stands because there are winnable games in there. But on the basis of what we've seen in the past couple of weeks, I, you really cannot pinpoint um, who's going to take this speech. I think you just need to wait going until, down to the yeah, until the last two. All right.